There's number two, Johnny McCombs. Two today, worth five pounds, four ounces. Your champion is Johnny McCombs. 47 pounds and one ounce of Beaver Lake bass. He is your champion. Back out here on Beaver Lake, we got tour champion Johnny McCombs standing next to me. And uh, dude, this was, it was a tough tournament. Yeah, very tough. It's always been a tough lake, Beaver is. Mm -hmm. It's always. And it's always different, too. Yeah, water coming up, down, rising, you know, water getting colored. Everything changed every day, and it just, it just happened to work out for me. It's, you got that big like sack day three? Yeah. And that definitely propelled you into it. Yesterday was kind of tough, couple fish, but hey, doesn't matter. You got the check. Yeah, it's all that matters, man. <laughs> Well, it's cold. I know you're bundled up. Uh, I'm not even sure you can move right now, but we're going to go out there. We're going to show the people how you caught your fish. We're going to try to catch a fish. That ain't and gonna happen. then that we're going to go warm happen. up. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> See where this, all, these, all these bushes coming to end. I mean, stuff like that's what I was looking for. You didn't get a lot of bites doing it, but there usually be one right there where I'm at now. I'm not gonna get a bite today, but <laughs> that's where they were. Right up this grass on this bank. Perfect, man. Perfect. Because uh, I mean, beaver's known to be a place that you pattern fish, right? You don't you don't find a spot right. on beaver. And you fish just run it. around. You find what you're looking for. Right. That's the way I like to fish. That's the way I was taught to do it, so. <laughs> well, with the rising water this week, it was interesting because it seemed like a lot of guys, they stayed on the old shoreline. Yeah. You know, so they were fishing out a little deeper. You seem to adjust every day and continue sliding up to whatever the newest bank was. Right. Did you find that the largemouths kept pulling up tighter and tighter as the water came up? Oh, yeah. They like to get up in that fresh water. They're, they're not really feeding. They're just sitting up there in those areas, just, just chilling out, you know, staying in that fresh water. That's, that's what I was looking for. And how shallow did you catch them? Because I watched you on day three catch a couple that seemed like, I mean, their backs almost could have been out of yeah. water. They were all less than three foot deep. You know, if you got deeper than that, those fish wouldn't come up to take the bait. So, you know, you kind of had to stay in that shallower, shallower zone. Keep your bait in the strike zone as long as you could. That's why I was trying to fish in those yards. Okay. Simple technique, simple plan, simple man. That's all it was, man. Yeah, buzz bait. I mean, I saw almost every fish I saw you catch throughout the event. You just boat flipped it right in. No yep. need to net it. No need to worry about it. They no, seemed to eat it pretty good. They were all hooked really good. I mean, I was lucky. The last day, it was tough, man. I, I had to bite to catch another big sack. It just didn't happen. Just too jacked up, jerking too fast. It wasn't <laughs> taking the bait right. Got no excuse. You used to fish the tour. I think this is your sixth year you fished the tour. Yeah, um, but I mean, it was like early yeah, 2000s right. when you fished. Right. And uh, I mean, it was a whole different ball game back then. You were talking about, you know, all the social media stuff that's going on, and the TV show, all that good stuff. What's it like fishing the tour now as it was back kind of when this whole deal was getting started? Everybody knows everything now, man. You got, like you say, the cell phone, social media. Everybody knows what you got before you come in. It's weird, man. We, we always kept everything a secret back in the day. <laughs> now everybody knows, you know, the bait you're throwing, where you're at, mm -hmm. everything, man. Well, it's like, uh, you know, Andy Morgan still kind of tries to hold as much in as he can, yet, you know, our job is to kind of pry it out of him. Right. And, uh, he, don't, he don't know nothing anyway, so. No, he's terrible at fishing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it was funny, like you said, uh, you got on stage and uh, Daniel or whoever was weighing you in brought up the fact you were throwing a buzz bait and you're like, well, how do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's crazy. Has it set in yet? I mean, this is your first win. Um, with that whole, has it sank in at all? I mean, I know it's only a day after, but. Yeah. No, it, it, it uh, still, still like a dream to me, man. You know, it really hadn't set in. I heard the spinnerbait somewhere broke off. But, uh, hey, hadn't set in, man. It probably will in a few days, you know. Like I said on stage, you know, all, all I wanted was to get enough money to fish next year. I wasn't trying to be greedy. Just know, keep it simple. Yeah. People don't know, man, you know, 12 years of my life was gone to drug addiction, man, you know, and I, I've been clean almost a year. I think Mother's Day will be a year I've been clean. I hadn't made a cast in over 12 years. I'm not trying to make any excuses till about six months ago. You know, I prayed every night to God, you know, mm -hmm. after I got clean. 
And finally, God, you know, man, he, you know, blessed me with a boat, he blessed me with a truck, got me back into this, man. You know, I'm just, uh, I'm just blessed, man. I feel like the luckiest man on this earth. Absolutely. You know, I'm still the biggest sinner in the world, man. You know, I do some dumb stuff, I always have, but, you know, man, it's all good now, you know. It's like it never even happened, you know. Right. Can't, can't explain why it happened, man. It's just something that I, that I got into and couldn't get out of. But it's all good now, man. Well, that's, I think that's why it's, I mean, it's a cool story to see. And all the pros that were rooting for you this week, I mean, Andy Morgan said you're the most talented angler, natural ability angler he's ever been in the boat with. I mean, it's just, <laughs> you had this huge following going for you. And, um, you know, after you, what you went through, like you said, it, it, uh, I mean, I it's just a lie, cool story man. to come around. Went through hell over that stuff, man. I almost died a few times. You know, a lot of people don't realize, man, seven months ago, well, actually a year ago, I weighed 160 pounds, man. I was I was a drug addict. You see every bone on my face. I'm up to 200 pounds now. I'm bigger and stronger and faster than I've ever been in my life. It's awesome, man. Truly awesome. That's, that's the most proudest thing that I've ever done in my life, is getting away from that stuff. Absolutely. But, you know, it's all God, man. It had nothing to do with me. It's all Him. Some some reason, you know, I'm still on this earth alive, you know, and healthy. It's all God's plan, man. My mom made me get this new phone. And I was scrolling through there one day and I seen this thing. Bill Bill Taylor was on there. He said, guys, we got this tournament. It's up here on Norris Lake. You need to fill it up. And I texted Bill the next day. I didn't even have a boat. Oh, didn't yeah, the a, invitation. Yeah, I didn't have a boat, a rod and reel, a truck or nothing at the time. I said, what I got to do to get in, Bill? He said, $4,900, Johnny, you can get in. I had $1,000 to my name at the time. I'd, I'd, I'd only been clean for three months. I went over to my, dad, uh, my, my daddy's the next day because we always go eat breakfast in the mornings. And I told him what I was going to do. He didn't say a word. He said, you know, let's go to the bank. Went down to the bank, got, got $3,500, $3,800 more, dollars, whatever it was. I sent the money in, man, and I kept praying every night to God. And, you know, like I said, I didn't even have a boat. Two days later, I got a boat and, and I got a truck. Went and got me four or five rods, went up out of Norris, finished like 13th. And actually, uh, Bill told me, he said, boy, you make top 10, you know, I'll, I'll get you in the big show next year, you know. And, uh, and I sat around for about four or five months after that. And it's December the 6th, it was my birthday. Bill texted, he said, boy, you better get you, you know, your gear and your money ready, you're in. I was like, Bill, God, you know, couldn't, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't uh, you know, believe it, you know, it just happened, man. You know, I prayed every night to God, man, you know. The only thing I could do is I was getting clean, you know, I kept telling God, God, just get me out of this drug addiction, man. I'll never ask you for nothing the rest of my life, man. But it all changed, man. I pray for something. Every, every day I pray for something. Oh, man, that's cool. And here you are. Here I am, man. Freezing back, your butt off on Back Lake. out here doing what I love to do, <laughs> man, more than breathe. That's, that's fish, man. Y'all get that out there as quick as you can, man. You know, if I would help somebody, that's all I'm about. Well, Johnny, it's cold. Conditions are horrible. So yes, I think sir. it's time we get out of here. But uh, man, I really appreciate uh, you sharing your story with us. Um, especially, you know, people watching, you said if it, if it can help anyone right. with the drug addiction thing. Everything you've been through for this to happen, you know, for you to get a tour victory here, get that trophy, you get to carry back home man, to that Alabama. That's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. And, uh, Man, I think with that, let's go warm up. I really appreciate it, Johnny. Thank you very much, man. All right, man. Thank, thank, thank you. Uh, like I said earlier, man, about that drug addiction crap, man. If I can beat that stuff, anybody in this world can beat it, man. You just got to trust in God, you know, trust in yourself, believe in yourself. Stuff will happen, man. All good stuff happens when you quit, man. I promise you.